Hey everyone, today we are in the depths of my food room. Like, this place is looking bad. So today you're gonna come along with me and clean it. Cause I need you, I need you to motivate me. So let's clean this room. This is what like the whole side when you walk in looks like. Messy. The shelves are just, nothing's where it's supposed to be. And then the floor, look at this from Thanksgiving. Groceries just thrown right in. And there's a fan in here. What? So yeah, we are gonna get this clean and organized. It's so cold down here, I have hot chocolate. <laughs> and my hoodie on. But I don't feel quite motivated. And I think that's because I don't have my apron. I look really bulky when I wear my apron with my hoodie, but what is? It's not how you look in the apron, it's what you do in the apron. Remember that. of ramen noodles that are half done or half used. We go through the chicken flavor faster than the beef. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box and dump it into this box and I'm not going to buy another box until this one is completely done. We don't want to waste anything or have the other beef go stale. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine the two. Now the video the other day when we had the white elephant gift exchange up at Bear Lake, you might have been thinking why would you throw the Jenga pieces away every time you find them? Well, because we lose them, we find them, we lose them, we find them, and I'm just tired of it. And I swear, after a while, you end up hating Jenga. And this is my proof. Are you ready? There's a Jenga piece. Right here. Jenga. Dang you, Jenga. I don't lie. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's picked up. Uh, I didn't worry about this side of organizing and cleaning because I could do that another day. The important thing is, is that we could be able to get into the food room during the Christmas holiday here and get what we need to make food. And so um, I just concentrated on the floor and the shelves. So here's what I have. Um, this one is all crackers and cookies and seasonings. Now this switches up often you guys depending on what sales I get when I bring home but um, yeah so I have here taco shells stuffed up stuffing mac and cheese the ramen and then down here I have cans of soups and veggies like green beans and corn my corn I have so much corn you guys that I have my year supply of corn so I did that during the November shopping with the sales so I, um, I pretty much have my year supply of corn. So uh, I have the evaporated milk and tuna and water chestnuts and things like that. Down here I have more canned tomatoes, pasta sauces, and my boxes of pasta. Okay. Down here I have flour, sugars that I bake with, things like that down on that shelf. Okay. Um, up here I have any drinks that, and so I have some milks here almond milk coconut milk um, I have a blank space here 
light bulb for you. Uh, I put the toilet paper here for now, tissues, have an, a blank space, and some baking things. Um, below is our Jello for Jello Sunday. Canned fruits like mandarin oranges and pineapples, and then we have a whole bunch of condiments, barbecue sauce, jellies, things like that. Now, I'm out of peanut butter, so I'm waiting for a peanut butter sale, and when that happens, this will be here. So, these shelves will move a bit depending on sales and things. Um, down here, we have more canned tomatoes. Here we have, like, our Mexican section, like, rotel, salsas, and then beans. We've got beans here, and that will stock up here soon with beans. And then over here is our broths. And then down below is just miscellaneous things there. Um, here, down below, I have um, sanitary pads and um, Ziploc bags. First aid and band-aids, toothbrushes to and things like that, random cough drops. Um, in this section here, here we have paper plates, napkins, cups, aluminum foil, saran wrap, things like that. Next shelf we have is shampoos, soaps, body washes, toothpastes, and up here we have dishwashing soap and hand soap. So, um, that is my food room right now. It looks different over time, like I said, depending on what I buy, when I buy it. And on the door, my pen fell off, but I keep a sheet of paper of what we need and what we're out of. And, um, and that's how I keep track of everything. Yeah. Um, so I come down here, take inventory. If I notice I uh, use something and we're... Ooh, bad lighting. I notice if I use something or all out, I write it on there. Um, but I'm starting to put it on my phone, too. I always have my phone on me, but... Anyway, that I could keep track of what I need down here. So when there's a case lot sale, I could come down, look at that list, and go, oh, we need this, 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 and this. So, yes, that is my food room right now. Um, after the new year, uh, I'm going to come in here and really gut it out, get rid of stuff, and get more organized. And, of course, I'm going to take you along with me. All right, go clean your food room. If you don't have a food room, your pantry, go organize it. Christmas is here. You've got food. You may not know it, but you have food in your cupboards, pantry. Let's try to save some money. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.